lane, or maybe they do dual lanes even. It's just you don't get those levels quick enough, oh. and I'm right. They're going to do an offlane Earthshaker. They're going to get up the Abad, and this is to answer the stun from Morphling. PPD is like, I know that hero. I know what the answer on the board and even things up one to one. The offlane Shaker coming into effect. Level three Aftershock, so he really wants that extra damage and stun duration, which is yeah. 1.2 seconds down, which is pretty good. It also helps with last hits as well. You can just yeah. throw down an early Enchant Totem, and you'll get that, what is it, like 100 damage burst or whatever. Yeah, yeah you kaboom. can factor that in. Pretty much easy with any Not sort of last hit. Time. So he continues to make it work. If for now nearby starts chopping away. And it looks like they're going to do a jungle trade there, Mott. Oh, Echo Slam onto Stinger. And he goes down. No waveform for you. That's just easy punishment onto your Morphling, who we already know as a hero. Really useful now. Maybe soon with the Smoke of Deceit coming out. They time it perfectly with the Blink Tiger from Axe. They'll try to find somebody top. There's absolutely nobody there. Universe is going to go top rune. Maybe they're waiting for a TP up to the top tier one tower, but Smash is going to get caught out. Echo Slam, Enchant Totem, Ancient Seal, Mystic Flare. Woo. All of those abilities and more, and that's a kill. Easily done. Yep. Everything but the kitchen sink almost to take down Smash, and he will expect. Smash is going to blink into the lane. Ifrit's nearby. There's two heroes mid Fisher, and Misko is going to get caught out. And another Ancient Seal comes through with the Mystic Flare. It's just another easy kill. These Dyer's these two heroes combining up to, to provide some deaths kills inside of uh, EG. So they'll try to get something going here at the top lane, but Universe involved once more. He is 3-0-2 involved in all of the kills so far for Evil Geniuses. And now they rotate towards this top lane if we're trying to cut down this catapult here from back behind but universe is going to make him pay gets a nice little block ppd is just sitting there waiting probably anticipating the stun to come doesn't want to use the shield quite yet and they just end up getting an easy raise right there take down the axe sumail picks up that kill continues to move forward he's got 2500 gold saved up now already on top of his yule's treads and aquila here walks right by Roshan as Van is doing it, and he doesn't use his fight turns immediately after. Well, this is what happens. He only has enough for one adaptive strike is the problem. And after a you know, waveform adaptive, that's it. And if you don't have the soul ring, you can't follow it up with another mid lane, though. They're going to make a move. Yules is going to fly out. They get a call here onto Sumail. Finger, and they finish him off with the dunk. Rotation still to come as Universe gets a really nice dunk onto Smash's head, and they get the retort there. It's going to be a mid laner from each side as Evil Geniuses... Maybe consider moving on forward with this after rotating so many. Nearby, there's Ifrit. They kind of ping it out. There's going to be a committed jump. Fissure's not going to be there as Ifrit does blink away. Oh, fear top lane just got stunned for literally ever. All right, all right. They followed up with a second stun, and they take him down. Good work there as the Morphling gets his real first participated fight, and he actually gets the kill there. Kind of hard to do when you have 31 base attack, but... From the Fisher just in time. If that Fisher connects, they kill him, no problem. PPD stunned for ages. He's going to get called as well, and they'll force at the bar of time, probably more. There's a lot of even Genesis members coming in, though. They're looking for Ifrit. They don't have the... Oh, Echo might go. Mystic Flare, no. Plasma Field, and now the Mystic Coil secures the kill on the Axe. Van TP's in, he has ages. The Bible oh. RP on it, too. Big RP Universe can't get his ultimate off. He's going to fall finally, just pop it there. It gets dunked, gets chopped in the head. Fear now, still looking to fight. Requiem goes in the backside, smash kind of low. There's the raise. Van going to lose his ages momentarily. Fear stunned up forever. AUI Silence now actually running away, but that Berserker's call coming through the battle hunger as well. Now the attempted strike onto B Rabbit, onto Smell, and he's in trouble. He's going to fall as well. Yep. They have an Abaddon to stop it, but when he's out of the picture, it's not going to be easy to get away. Good catch right there, and it allows someone like Troll. I mean, you have 4.25 seconds. BKB on him, so that Echo Slim and, and Fisher and all that jazz. Requiem, Yule's not going to go, which, Ooh. by the way, Fritz chasing after a hasted Shadow Fiend, only to get turned on, it looks like. Barely missed that call. Now throwing the Yules. He's trying to hold them here as long as possible while help comes. They do get it in the form of Universe. Nice little setup with a Fissure and an Echo. Now forcing forward Rabbit. Trying to get hold of someone here. Ifrit will be able to make it away. The Yules was already used. Now here comes Morph. Does he wait for him? They're not going to find him. Smoke. Yeah, that's too late. Blink call. It was a good drive. I'm afraid it was just a bit too late. They're going to go bottom. And this goes going to get caught out. Yep, We're going to enchant him. totem. Miss the stun. And he's just dead, I think. Yeah, this call is going to clean him up. So in, in the end, the smoke actually works out for Evil Genius. is not for not today. But... They were looking for... It was a really good timing smoke for him, not today. They had the BKB for the Troll Warlord. They were waiting to try to find a bit of side form for himself. But here comes EG now, pushing down this mid lane here. We'll see if not today. Look to make something happen. Smash has got an Invis rune. Oh, this could be very profitable for them. 
So close, Universe. Jump in. RP catches two. Puts them right back towards the troll, and they begin to just wreak havoc as they easily cut through the both of them. Now they're looking to go on PPD. Borrow time is going to be triggered, and they'll just take their sweet time. They lock them in place, steal a little bit of mana, and then they will dunk them down. That is a three-man drop. Not today. Come out big with that one. As Roche up, it certainly is. They could follow it up with a quick Aegis if they'd like. What an Invis rune for Smash. Uh, and then the double RP into calls. Skewer back. Well played from out today. Those plays need to be made. If you want to win this game, if you want to BDG, you have to make those plays with the Invis. The game and they find more profit in investing in something else. We'll have to see, though. But Roche is yeah, up. I think that's fair. And Van doesn't check it out. Just walks right past it instead. Uh, they should know. They'll probably send an illusion or a forget or something. They want to push that bottom first and foremost. However, evil geniuses aren't going to wait. And they say that if we're going to take this game, we have to find an initiation. I don't think they see Smash. They definitely don't see Smash. That is such a good spot to be in, too. But I think he might just be stuck up there. Was that his doing? I think so. He's, he's not stuck. He can force a blink out at any time. Evil geniuses, in the meantime, they're going to wrap all the way around. Will they go up to the high ground here? Ifrit going to reveal the smoke. They're going to find him. Now the BKB goes. Yule's up in the air. Call misses, I think. They are going to find Smell. He's going to get blown up, dashed up forever. And now you've got to get out. They will get Stinger, but it's a one-for-one -one trade. Smash looking for that RP. Can't find it here. Getting bashed up. SN wide as well. Name going through. Universe in trouble as well. In some trouble. Gets hexed up. Smash still has the RP if he wants it. Universe still low as hell. They finally get the kill. The Daedalus procs from Van doing work. Now they jump on. They find Fear. The Culling Blade 4 down. Evil geniuses looking like they're in some trouble here. It's a four-for-one trade. What a fight coming up from not today. They're in such a good spot right now. They can even take Roshan. That was even Evil Geniuses coming in through the back door trying to catch Not Today with their pants down, and they still managed to make it work. And they were on top of it was Evil Geniuses as well. The Adaptive Strike came out. It connected with Fear. PPD got him with the shield. They quickly turned on the morph, took him out of the equation, but it still didn't matter. And that was also without the RP. She this potential fight. But their racks are in trouble. Yep, there's the buyback now. All right, Fissure slows out onto Van here. They just allow their troll to kind of be out in front at this point. Smash is just waiting. He has Satanic. No Aegis, though. That's the biggest thing. Aegis is up on, I believe, Smash. Yeah, yeah. Smash is really, the, again, the initiation, man. It's, if it's not from one, it's from another on the side of Not Today. And Van, oh, God, there we go. That's, that's exactly it. Get the call into PPD. They pull him back and away. Immediate jump forward as they get the strike onto Owie. They follow it up with a quick and easy kill. Owie now going to be out for a minute. No buyback for him. And they just clearly want to try to take some names here. They are elusive, though. EG do step back, and now they turn their focus back onto the racks here. Troll pops his ult, brings the tower. Okay, gets the racks there. And they'll walk away with that. They have a firm grasp on this game, and they do not want to let it slip it away. And if they have to do a bit of a slow siege here, then so be it. Now it's Evil Geniuses down, Arax. Something many people were not suspecting. It's EG on the back foot. It's so hard for Evil Geniuses. There's just so much to deal with. The, the threat of the RP right now is better than the actual RP itself. Although, I say that, but then maybe if Smash it's like a 5-man RP in the game for sense, then maybe that, that's a bit different. Still though, like, they, they have to be so careful with their positioning. And look at that, he just replicates in Adaptive Strikes up Fear. And he's still stunned for a good second and a half before they get the Aphonic uh, Shield off. So that, it's just that kind of like guerrilla warfare tactics that not today can apply by jumping in and out of the base here and there. And evil geniuses kind of just have to play at the, the will of not today for the time being. Oh, well, not today. Feeling pretty good at this point. It's their game to take. They just got to find a way to finish it here. Evil geniuses just wait Dyer's and plant their defense. Attack. Universe Echo Slam at the ready. Fear, who's on the path to either building up the halberd or a butterfly. And of course, Sumail, directly him to go. Do they have enough power here going up and back and behind. They get the catch on to Fear. He will be shielded off. Oh, a jump forward from Ifrit. Not going to be happening. On the other side, they get PPD with the stun. Second adaptive should be up right here. Troll's already going to work on that tier 3. They try to go for the low ground to go for Mystical, but their, their racks are in trouble. Already brought down to half life at that point. Van pops his BKB, gets the hell out of there. They are able to get the Lion. Stinger very low, going to be forced to morph up and get the hell out of there. Evil geniuses, though. They see the damage inside their base now. They lose a tier 3 mid. And it's enough to repel 
the push here from not today, at least for now. Ridiculous, man. It's like one person blinks in, the other like walks out, another person reforms in, the other person blinks out. Like just in that fight alone, it's like Axe blinked in, called, walked away. Morphling reformed in after strike, walked away. Lion jumped in with his blink dagger, hexed up, walked away. All the meanwhile, the troll's like, I'll take the tier three tower. Thank you very much. Almost got the melee racks too, but it's just it the Navy, uh, Peter and Owie. But that's not really a whole lot to stop them. Not today though. They're back now on EG's side. They, they want to go right back towards the baseline here. They want to take this to a game three. They move in. He's going right for the racks. BKB up. They're trying to sap and take away as much damage as possible. It's enough to get him to get the hell out. There's a move on forward. Axe can't quite get the call yet on the hold fear. There goes Universe. Jump in just a totem. Force away from Ifrit. More juke and jiving coming out. Specifically from not today, but they're still on the chase. They get a lockdown oh, here. Go. They could get it. He eats the cheese, turns back, and now it goes on to fear. But with that shield, he's still holding strong, and this the eye of the storm. He is just punishing this axe, bullying him back in a way. Not enough to bring him down. There goes Universe. Fissure holds it back. If it's still on the run oh, to get away. They and went the wrong way. Out. Okay. Universe went juke top, and he uh -huh. actually juke to the right instead. But on the backs. All it takes is for either Smash or Ifrit to set something up for him. And I doubt there is much that can really survive. It's a matter of getting it, though. And like you said, they could overthink this. They're geniuses. And biz. Turn it back, but yeah, the Morphling inside the base gets an early adaptive on the PPD. Takes him out, and they get a universe immediately, forcing out the buyback. His BKB is going to be popped. They're starting to sap away the damage, but there's a good force to come out from Smash right there to break the link. And now they step back and away. Not today. They're going to be happy with that if they could just get a little bit. Oh my, oh my god. god! What an RP! Set it up. Requiem on the outskirts from Sumail to try to help out. But EG still hold on for now. But no, the shock wave to fly. They got to get the hell back into base, but they're not going to allow him to run. Van starts chopping away onto Fear and takes him out. Double kill for him. Fear goes down, and it looks like not today. Might be able to clench game number two, and they have done it. We're going to a game three in the winner bracket final of the Summit 3 America Qualifier. Smash S me, Pastor. Oh, my Lord. What Holy moly. Jeez. That's, uh, that is something special right there was that RP. That was impressive. He waited the entire game for that perfect RP, and he got it. That's all they needed, and that just secures the game right there. That's when you put down your headset. That's when you put down your mouse and keyboard, and you just say, well, that's it. Let's play for game number three. Let's get out of here, guys. Well, here we are, folks. We're going into a game three. How many people expected that? Well, not many. 92% of people figured that this was going to be a big EG victory, but it's not over yet. EG now looking to buckle down.